Hi, this is uh, Ida Zabrup once again. Today we'll be talking about taking backups in the field. In the field means uh, on location where you went for a day or more than a day uh, to do some, sh uh, do some uh, shooting. Um, we'll be sharing some of our experiences uh, from the field. Uh, you may have your own experiences and a lot of photographers like to have their own system uh, backing up their images. But a lot of a lot of the phot photographers, including probably you, uh, have faced the same problem. A lot of the times, when um, when you uh, uh, shot a cart full of uh, pictures, then uh, came back came back home and found out that the card isn't working. Uh, you can't download your images, and the whole uh, trip was lost. Well, there is no foolproof system. Uh, no system can. Uh, uh, ensure 100 percent security for you and there is no card in the world which will tell you that uh, you can a hundred you can uh, ba uh, back up images with 100 percent uh, safety but there are uh, some uh, ways you can actually minimize your uh, risks one of the things you can do is to divide your images um, use smaller cards you know how many uh, shots you uh, shoot in one day and based on that you can use uh, a 2 GB or 4 GB or 8 GB uh, cards depending on your uh, type of shooting. I use uh, 4 GB and 8 GB uh, CF cards. Uh, I use uh, Lexar and SanDisk uh, Extreme cards. These are uh, pretty good cards. Uh, try to use some decent cards, some uh, good value cards. These are not 100% foolproof but as they are coming from some good manufacturers, uh, they will definitely ensure you that uh, they're not going to fail that easily. So that can be uh, another way of doing it. Uh, so once you divide your uh, memories uh, in the field, what would happen is that even if one card uh, goes, uh, uh, I mean one card dies, you still have the rest of the images in another card. So that's definitely uh, uh, better than uh, losing everything. And another way of uh, backing up images instantly is to use a camera that uses uh, two memory cards. Uh, there are quite a few camera models in the, in the market right now uh, which use uh, two memory cards at the same time and one memory card you can easily use as a backup. So the same image is uh, automatically copied in, uh, in two uh, memory cards. So you have an instant backup. And the next stage of backup comes from uh, another device. Uh, I use a netbook on the field. Uh, this is not just for backing up. This also allows me uh, to uh, post view images. So once I finish the shooting or during the middle, in the middle of the shooting as well, I often uh, like to see my images a little bigger. So that way it helps and it definitely uh, gives another option for backup. So you can use your own devices. You can use your iPad or Galaxy Tab or any other uh, device or a laptop and they can help to uh, back up images. And maybe uh, in a, a short tour, uh, during a day tour, probably I may not uh, carry this uh, netbook with me. Um, so in that case, I may be relying mainly on the cards and may not carry uh, other backups. But on a longer tour, I may carry this uh, netbook as well as some extra hard drives. Uh, in, uh, several, in a several day tour, uh, most of the time, uh, I use at least uh, one extra uh, um, hard drive. Uh, and in, sometimes uh, if I have uh, uh, more than one bag with me, I use two hard drives. So I keep one hard drive in one bag and another hard drive in another bag. So uh, each night I take uh, a whole backup of all the images that I took during the day in um, in my uh, netbook as well as in my two hard drives and they live in two different bags. So even if disaster strikes and I lose one bag, I still have the other images uh, backed up in another bag. So that way it's not a foolproof system but it will at least give you uh, a, a second uh, option. Uh, there are some other ways of backing up. Uh, there are uh, some dedicated uh, backup uh, systems, backup devices, uh, which you can uh, directly plug in, uh, where you can uh, directly plug in your uh, memory cards. Uh, mem there are memory slots in those devices, 
and it, it uh, gets instant uh, uh, backup from there. It has its it has its uh, own uh, operating systems. Uh, I don't have those uh, to show, but those are a little bit more uh, uh, professional options. You can say uh, they are a bit more expensive, but definitely a lot more uh, reliable. And there are some other uh, ways to backup as well, instant backups. Uh, there are devices that uh, work with the camera, uh, devices that are attached to the camera, uh, re uh, and they are, uh, the files are transferred through uh, via a radio link to another device. That can uh, also be uh, used to uh, backup. But again, that's another uh, professional option. So as I said, uh, there is no 100% foolproof system, but uh, these things can at least uh, help you improve your uh, backup system. Oh, and uh, uh, before I forget, you should use at least a decent uh, card reader. Uh, I have used different card readers over time, but what I have understood is that uh, if you uh, don't carry a decent card reader, it may fail on you. And if it does fail in the field, you will have some real hard times. Uh, you may have to delete some of your images to uh, take new images. I had faced that problem at least once. So what I'm telling you is that just make sure that your uh, uh, card reader is healthy. So even even if you take all your uh, laptops and hard drives, if you don't have a card reader, you can't transfer your images. So hopefully today's discussion had been helpful for you. If you have uh, more feedback, uh, if you want to talk about uh, something more, you can definitely uh, give your feedback right below this video and do visit our website at ideasabletproof.com and don't forget to uh, subscribe to our video stream by clicking the subscribe button at the top of this video and also uh, follow us in Facebook the Facebook is like Facebook link is right below this uh, video just go there and click the like button so that you can follow our activities so for today it's a wrap bye